Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on whatever time zone you're in. Uh, my name is Mike, and I am doing a video on the recent molestation allegations uh, on Michael Jackson, made by a man named Wade Ropeson. Uh, for a few people that don't know who Wade Ropeson is, he is a established choreographer. He's worked with uh, the likes of Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, in sync. Um, he's also worked on several movies and videos and whatnot. Um, I first want to preface this by saying I, I do believe the accuser, which is Wade Robeson. I do believe what he's saying. I've never met him personally, but understanding the sort of um, past allegations and, and, and reading up on this, I do believe what he says is, is credible. What this video is going to tackle is sort of the recent comments, commentary made in uh, the press by celebrities and, and by public figures. And my take on it, uh, this is an opinion piece and should be taken as such. It's also going to uh, talk about a cyber campaign I've started in support of Wade Robeson. And um, it's not just for that, it's also to uh, allow other people to come and get inspired by this this campaign and to show that you don't have to be silent you can actually speak up but without further ado let's get on to the uh, quotes here in the commentary we're first going to start off with Sharon Osbourne she's on the uh, show called the, the talk it's actually a very nice show I've watched it many times and her comments uh, when about these allegations when they were discussing it on that show was, um, I think it smells incredibly fishy. Why wait to now? Why are you not doing this face to face? This man, meaning Wade, shame on you. Whatever your name is. What bothers me about that particular comment is, first of all, the use of shame. And the fact that she told Wade Robeson you know, shame on you. If you know anything about child um, abuse of any kind, especially a molestation, the the number one main reason people don't come out is exact because of that word shame. And when you go on a national uh, television show and you sort of make a comment like that, and millions of people are seeing this, and some of those people, I'm sure, are not quite sure if they should speak out. You're not only saying that to Wade, you're saying that to those people as well. And basically telling them, if, if your story is, you know, not sort of perfect, or the sort of aspects of your story that might be difficult, you should be ashamed. Don't come out. You know, how dare you? The other thing I want to address with this comment is, you know, why did he come out? Why now? Um, it's very simple. Uh, it takes many years for people to sort of process what happens to them. In some cases, people don't come out at all. It takes a lifetime sort of thing. And it usually takes some sort of breakdown, emotional breakdown, or some event in your life to allow the floodgates to open. Uh, with Wade, I believe it was the birth of his son. Um, to know that you're going to have a little mini version of yourself walking around, and to know that you're so emotionally crippled that you might not even be able to take care of this person and protect that person from the same thing that's happened to you can be very very telling and um you know in my opinion this man should be applauded not um sort of mocked and ridiculed the next comment or quote comes from barbara walters She's actually um, on The View. She spoke about what uh, Wade said on the Today Show. And um, she basically quoted him, then made a little statement of herself. And what she said is this. And this is quoting Wade on the Today Show here. He says this was uh, not repressed memory. He really did remember it all. But now that he has a son and he thinks about it himself, it has all come out and he feels he has to talk about it 
And then she sort of, sort of makes this deer in the headlights look and says, but I'm not sure why. Well, Barbara, he just told you why, and I just told you why. It's completely common. It's actually the fact that he didn't come out for so long gives more credibility to what he's saying. You know, not everyone's going to come out when you want them to. You know, it's their decision. And sometimes it takes a lot of courage and a lot of sort of grit to do this. And uh, again, I just think that it's just irresponsible and very premature to sort of be making those judgments. Next person is on the same show and somebody who I very much respect and I'm actually kind of upset that this she made this these comments. This is from Whoopi Goldberg. Um, she says this. She says, if you have the opportunity to tell the truth, tell the truth. Don't wait till the family starts suing to get money. Um, first of all, let's address the money issue because this has been bothering me. First of all, uh, Whoopi, who are you or anybody else for that matter to decide how somebody gets their legal vindication? Somebody wants to go through the uh, go through civil litigation and put themselves through that and get monetary compensation for that. That is their business. You know, Wade Robeson wants to rent out the Madison Square Garden and um, have an audience of a million and take every Michael Jackson doll you can possibly find and light them on fire. That's his right to do so. You know, if that gives him closure, so be it. The other thing I want to address is um, the fact that you're talking about, you know, he had the opportunity to speak the truth, especially back in 2005 when he said that this did not happen. And even after the fact, and when he was a child, he said he supported Michael Jackson. You know, if you know anything about child sexual abuse and molestation, you will understand that that's totally common. How many, you know, sons or daughters defend their parents to the death and that are being abused? You know, because they care about that person, they want to see that person hurt. In a lot of ways, they've been sort of, uh, you know, brainwashed and um, told certain things to keep them quiet. So to sit there and say that, well, because he made statements beforehand, that sort of erases anything that he says now is totally uh, wrong. I don't know how else to put it. It's, it's, it goes against what most people understand about child abuse. Next comment I want to read here is from Michael Jackson's former attorney. I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest with you. His uh, name is Tom Mesereau. If you don't know him, um, he's kind of he a guy, a lawyer with long gray hair. Kind of looks like a uh, male version of B. Arthur, in my opinion. But anyways, uh, days after this came out, his quote was, This is a pathetic and obvious grab for publicity and attempt to put pressure on the Michael Jackson estate to pay him money. What I want people to understand is, is that in the 2005 trial, uh, Mr. Mesereau made Wade Robeson one of his main defense witnesses. He actually even said that, that you know, he put him first on the list because he thought he was so credible. Well, what's funny is, is now that Mr. Robeson has come out and uh, sort of negated what he said and said that, you know, things did happen to him and he didn't want to speak about it, now somehow he's not credible. He's not telling you what you want to hear. He's not to be believed. You know, that he's pathetic and a joke. Well, Mr. Robeson, my question to you is, is your judgment. If you thought he was so good back then, and now all of a sudden you're uh, sort of in disbelief, you know, how was your judgment back then? You know, are, you to, are you to be trusted? My personal opinion is, is that you know he's credible. And you know there's probably some basis to this and you just want to sort of you know push it off and and mock it and hopefully it will go away well mr mesereau this is not going away in any which way next comment a short and sweet comment it's right from lionel richie another pop icon and his comment uh, to tmz was very simple bogus 
Well, Mr. Ritchie, I want to ask you something. I want you to think about your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your grandson, your granddaughter, whoever, and think if they came out with these allegations. And, you know, within days, you having somebody come to them and telling them it's bogus. Tell me, what would your thought process be? How would you take it? How would your son or daughter or whoever in your family take it? Is it responsible? Is it the right thing to do? Or is it the simple thing to do? Is it the sort of thing that you can sort of just make a comment, not even think about it, walk away, and not even realize that we live right now in a very sort of cyber-oriented cyber community where what you say is pretty much known seconds after you say it? I just want you to think. Think about that and think about how it affects other people. Finally, the last comment is from Jermaine Jackson. This is not to be surprised. He is the brother of Michael Jackson, but his comment is basically, You're, you are full of S-H-I-T. I won't say it, just in case if I want to use this video, obviously they don't want expletives in it. Um, my, you know, next thing is not to address the comment, but to ask Jermaine, you know, how long? How long are you going to try to sort of keep this image of Michael up there, of him almost being non-human, that, you know, he's sort of some sort of second coming, and that, you know, his belief system was so different than ours, that he was so eccentric, that common sense should go out the window. Um, you know, the goal of my Facebook page for Wade Robeson and for these videos is not to demonize him, certainly not to idolize him, it's to humanize Michael Jackson. So people can understand that, yes, he was just a human being, possible of having flaws, you know, possible that he might be capable of doing these crimes. And when you look at it in that context, and you understand the sort of, um, the way a pedophile acts, and you, and you sort of compare it to uh, Michael Jackson's life, you will see parallels there. And those parallels just can't be sort of brushed and swept under the rug. They need to be seriously considered. Again, this is my opinion. I'm not saying for a fact I know Michael Jackson was a pedophile. I don't. But I do know that as a community, we have to sort of look at things sometimes and take the, the sort of uh, famous person's name out of it and look at it in a, a sort of general context. Finally, I want to say there is good news. You know, the good news is we don't have to let these commentators, you know, the Barbara Walters or the Whoopi Goldbergs or, you know, the Tom Mesereaux sort of create the narrative on this topic. We can do it. And if you believe that, you know, there is more to these allegations, you don't have to be silent. You don't have to sit there and say, you know what, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to do anything. You know, you can actually get involved. And I made it pretty simple. I created a Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Wade Robson supporters. I'll have a sort of uh, title up there that you can copy and paste. Um, and the idea is simple. Go to the page, like the page, leave a comment of support. Um, at this point, this p the page I've created is in its infancy and, and it's almost been hijacked by Michael Jackson fans with their sort of, you know, take on it. It's not meant for that. Um, it's meant to give information that supports my opinion information that uh, will allow people to sort of see this through a different colored lens. And it also is for people to show support for one another. I mean, we're all human beings. And Wade Robeson's a human being. And if we don't, you know, do something to, in some cases, to, to make our voices be heard, then they're going to be silent. And that's exactly what's happening to child abuse victims all over this country, all over this world. I mean, if you have a son, a daughter, a neighbor, a niece, anybody that you feel that, you know, this could be them, this could be their story, let your voice be heard. And, you know, if we can get as many people on this page to like it, you know, maybe when he goes to trial, or maybe when the press gets, a, you know, gets word that this is happening, 
this page can be looked at and seen that there are other people with other opinions that support what Ray Robeson's doing. Because it's not easy. Let's face it, this man was an uh, accomplished choreographer. I personally think he has a lot more to lose than to gain by this. You know, he has a craft that he is passionate about that he could lose completely. And let's face it, nobody, you know, money's one thing, but nobody wants to lose their passion in life. So anyways, I thank you. I thank you for listening. And I really, really hope that you can take this page and share it and, and take this video and share it and sit down with your kids and listen and, and just um, get inspired. You know, we all have something to say and it's about time that we're heard. Thank you.